Right, continuing on. Hello. Uh, stand in front of one of the four markers and place your bets. Come on, baby, come on, come to Papa, come to Papa. I mean, that's how things work in most of the casinos that I go to, but anyway. Uh, I do wonder if this is rigged. One of the people up front strongly implied that everything was rigged. And we've seen in the casino downstairs on the previous video that we can definitely get some money in there, so I wonder if this is the right thing to do what I'm doing here. Whether we'll get anywhere with this guy. Okay, so I see that we're both betting and Come on, baby. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. He's either going gonna... to I might try this one or two more times, but I suspect this is not the answer. Maybe? How much did we need for the pier guy again? I think it was 300. So we trade one in. We had four goes at that and we have 10, which is a net gain of six. And that's not very much. What about what looks like the bowling alleys over here? Hello. Nothing? I said hello, and he responded with nothing, and I can say nothing now. That's interesting. Dude. Oh, has this glitched out on me? Yeah, I appear to have lost my ability to interact with other characters. Just like that. Right, I'm going to load because we only got six, uh, whatever the currency is called. I don't remember what the currency is called. It's not caches, it starts with X or Z, I think. Let's see if we can actually talk to this guy. Hello. No, something is actually glitching when I talk to that um, alligator dude behind the bar. That's not good. Alright, let's just play the machines over on the right hand side. Damn, well, that was a waste. At least it was quick. Once again, one for ten, so that doesn't seem like a bad trade-off, but we're going to be here for a while. Are you winning? Ah, uh, my dear sir. Lady Luck is a fickle female. I've been losing since the curse of Dark Monk condemned us to live forever on our miserable planet. But the day will come when I will win. Slot machines give a pretty good return if we can get into get them to behave and um, get a couple of jackpots. Might just try one very quickly just to see how much it plays out. And what I might do then... Well, we had to pay to get inside here, didn't we? It's very hard to read the number up on the top left, but we are spending one... 
one unit of currency every single time. Oof, we are not winning. Alright, that thing is clearly rigged. We've pumped 10 things into it and we haven't won a jackpot, so it must be rigged. Laws of probability be damned. Thirteen for twenty-five. Yeah, that's still not a great ratio. We're going to be here for a very long time. I suspect there is a way that we can get a lot of money, but I'm not sure how to do it. Dang, okay. Ah, uh, that's not terribly helpful, but I'll... Oh wow, only 10. That's not very much at all. Um, yeah, there's got to be something else I can do here to quickly gain cash. Hello. Yeah, this guy's straight out bugged. I cannot speak to him for whatever reason, and he is breaking my ability to speak to other characters. Oh, hello. God damn it. That's me searching the plants. I thought that was like a little secret passage on the wall there. But no, it's nothing. Can I freely leave if this you place? Want, sir, I can have you taken back up to the exit of the casino. It's okay. Alright, can I go back down now without paying again? Uh, can I not get inside without paying again? Hello. Step on in and try your luck. You'll find the best games of chance ever devised. And if you're in luck, you can even try for our super jackpot. Don't you feel like you do? Step right in. The price of admission to the casino is five litos. Would you like to enter? I'm not interested. So we're going to be forced to pay to get back inside. And, uh, there's something about a super jackpot here. Knowing my luck, it's the guy down here who's going to tell us about it. But for whatever reason, I cannot speak to him right now. Hello. He just completely interrupts my um, ability to be able to interact. Should have got the stamp. Uh, Shaki, I don't understand that. Do you mean like a stamp which uh, prevents you from having to pay again? If you want, sir, I can have you take. It's okay. Hello, sir. The price of admission to the casino is... It's okay. Hello, sir, and welcome to Gimp. You can try your luck at the gaming tables or the slots. It's your choice. I wouldn't really define either of these as gaming tables, but okay. Can I talk to you now? Hello. Play, stand in front of a marker or a machine and insert some Zlitos. If you play the slots, you could win the super jackpot of the evening. It will grant you admission to our special room. Do they still do that? Stamp your hand when you go into a bar or club where there's a cover charge? Honestly, I don't know. I don't go to those sorts of bars or clubs. At the risk of sounding old, I think the last place where I got a stamp or a pass out was a tennis tournament. 
where you had to pay a pretty penny to get inside and they gave you a pass out so that you can get back inside afterwards. I can't imagine the super jackpot just being the 25 Zlitos that we got before, so... Um... I don't know. I'm wondering what the keys are on the slots. Would that maybe be the key to the back room? And I haven't been paying any close attention, but I don't know if the keys are actually showing up on the slots at all. On the results, I mean. We're getting hearts, we're getting Zolitos, and we're getting uh, magic. And I definitely saw a clover shop in the left-hand reel a few spins ago, but I don't know if the keys have shown up at all. Alright, I'll go down to 110 and I'll try a different machine. So yeah, all of these keys are showing up, but they're not actually coming out on the on the line. I have no faith in either the dogs or whatever that thing is in the middle there as being a reliable gambling method. Not that there is such thing as a reliable gambling method. I'm so glad I switched. Holy shit. Okay, we now have a key. I wonder if that is RNG, if you have to just play this machine a certain number of times, or what. Given that there are speedrunners for this game and everything else on the planet, I can't imagine it is fully RNG. Or maybe there's just a way to clip through this wall. Big winner, indeed. Welcome, my dear sir. Welcome, welcome to our Wheel of Fortune. You're the one fate has chosen today to try for our super jackpot. Excellent, excellent. Now just stand behind the wheel on the small podium, give it a whirl, and maybe, maybe I say, you will hit it big. If I don't, can I beat you up? Bonsai! I was kind of expecting that. I'm not even joking, I was kind of expecting that. Some speedrun games do have a lot of RNG, absolutely Shaggy, absolutely. Just wait till this guy goes down. Oh god. Uh, no, I need to grab that. 50, there we go. Yep, needed to grab that. Unfortunately, that means I've lost my position. Damn, we've got another thing open up there. So we just got 100 Zlitos, which is great, and we've got another exit. Yeah, RNG and speedruns. The, the craziest one that I've heard about was Bioshock Infinite. Because as you're playing that game, you can get certain power-ups, and the power-ups are RNG. So you can get a really, really good power-up right at the start, or you can just get rubbish. And if you get the really good power-up, then um, you're pretty much set for a good run. I'm not using that clover. Um, the thing about it that is, getting to that point involves playing the game for a couple of hours beforehand. And so what they agreed with on that particular speedrun is you could use a mod to ensure that you get the decent power-up right at the start. 
It's kind of crazy, actually, that they allowed that. Um, what do we do about this? I mean, my immediate problem is the moment I leave this room, I believe I'm going to lose the key. But I don't see a way over here, so I'm wondering if I need to go back to the condom pilot and improve the um, improve the proto pack before I can get over here. Let me just. Um... Oh, okay. That's the key that gets. No, that didn't use my key. So I go here now. I'm locked out of the room. Shit. Do I really need to do this again? Yeah. Bioshock Infinite is a really weird one. I do need to watch a speedrun of that game one day. Is this really RNG as to whether or not I'm going to get that key back? I think it is. I mean, okay, if I need to go outside and do something else first, then yeah, I've got a lot of money. But man, this is rough. Okay, one key showed up on the right-hand side there. Actually, you know what? I survived the super jackpot, assuming that it's always an ambush and not something else. So maybe the guy on my bottom right has something to say. Let's go have a chat. Hell, maybe even the other guy has something to say. Uh, let me just make a new save because I don't want to accidentally break things. We're at the casino. Hello. To play stand in Not, front of nothing. The uh, this guy has nothing to say unless I step on the thing. If you want, sir. it's okay. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything in the uh, previous room, in the moon room. As I'll call it. I mean, I don't see a way to get over this. We can't wall run. I don't see anything here that is immediately helpful. The proto pack didn't work. It just fell straight into the water there. So... That is leading me to believe that I need to do something else outside first. If you want, sir. It's okay. And hopefully we can get back into that back room once we have something that can get us over that Hello, waterfall. Sir. I'd like to buy some gazo gem. Sorry, but I don't have none left. I'm waiting for some tanker due in from the island of the Frankos. Their refinery produces the gazogem from the gems collected in the undergas. The undergas up in the clouds. If you're just coming off the previous video and watching this, um, I apologize. I haven't played this game in over a week. So just getting reorientated with everything. This leads into the... yep, into here. Can we go up here? Have we been up here? Hello. 
You cannot climb to the upper city, sir. The elevators are temporarily out of order. I don't remember coming in here. The official rumor. The Emperor asserts Dark Monk will fulfill the prophecy whether or not the Muscovies are willing to bring their fragment. Surprise it's not Muscovies. Yeah, that door looks hell suspicious as well. We saw that on the previous video. I don't have a way of getting there, but I'm thinking again that the proto pack may be the key here. The dude on our left who crash landed with us did offer to upgrade it. How much do you want again, sir? Was it 100 or 300? I've got a horrible feeling it was 300. I'd like to get to Island C. Hmm, maybe yes, maybe no, maybe both, might be a I don't care about that. I do care about that, but I just want to save before I blow my cash. I'd like to- hmm. It's okay. I do know a Turu came back. These days, he sells souvenirs on Celebration Island. Maybe he might able to- might be able to take you to him. Ah, well, for you- it's a freebie. Welcome aboard, Leontine. My cab. That was very confusing. I thought that the next objective was going to be to head back up to the upper city and have a chat to the guy who is selling the t-shirts. But no, apparently we're going somewhere. In this structurally unsound looking zeppelin. What the hell kind of place is this? Is this island CX? That's it, my man. It's here. You'll find him easily. He sells souvenirs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Twinson only just appears to be T-posing because he's still in athletic stance. It's fine. He's not completely glitched. I think. But that's the Twinsonian who is Ah, shit. Ah, uh, magic ball time. Help. Holy shit, for just a moment there, it looked like that I'm competent at this game. Are you the one who went to Island CX and made it back alive? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not me. It's not me. Help. Please. Murder. Well, that's not hurting him. Uh, I can hear something up on my top left. I can't see it, but it sounded like something shot at me then. Alright, we are on Island CX. And I have 70 save games and all of their names are completely nonsensical. I can hear it, I just can't see it. Okay, it looks like someone's... It sounded like a camera, but I thought that was a terrible sound, like someone was going to shoot at me or something. I mean, he's shooting this guy, just, you know, with a camera, but, um, yeah. Hello? It said the trail used to circle the cradle and that folks came to gather crystals. Now the road's blocked and only a fool or a hero would dare venture there. I'm at least one of those two things. Hello. So we're good. 
This temple is dedicated to Dark Monk. He's the god of the Zelicians and lives again. His majesty promised to cancel the Zelician curse during the cult's next ceremony. I tell you, cancel culture is out of control. It just is. Oh. I hate that. I haven't even tried it, but I hate it already. Is there anything around on the other side before I go inside this weird looking building? Ah, souvenir cellar. Are you the one who went to Island CX and made it back alive? Yeah, it's me. Or what's left of me. What do you want? So wait, we're not on Island CX? What did you see over there? <laughs> what I saw there. A secret fortress, governor. A fortress built by the parliament. Where some army shuttles shoot at everything that gets close. I don't know what they hide there. And I don't want to know. How can I get there? Are you kidding me? Nobody can get close. The only ones crazy enough to make a go at it are Rick's gang. Rick, he's the owner of that bar by the harbor. But he's much more than that. He's in charge of the Otringo underworld. Go see him. Maybe he'll help you. Uh, so it's sounding like we need to go into the building, have a chat to this Rick bloke. He may send us back to Otringo, which is where we came from. And maybe we'll have to do something there. Maybe, I don't know, get into a casino back room and beat up some lizard dudes. Yeah, does it say where I am? I'm on a place called Celebration. Celebration is a goddamn... It's a crater. It's a lava-filled crater. That is not something to celebrate, in my opinion, but hey, I don't make up the names. Uh, is this anything on the side, or is it just a weird texture? It's just a weird texture. Alright, let's have a look in the bar. This looks like a very unsettling bar. Are you going to attack me? Hello. This prophecy is so exciting. I can't stop reading it over and over. <laughs> it makes me cry every single time. Uh, you, you could work the, um, like this meme into that, I reckon. He's got the right tone of voice for it. In the beginning, the two mother planets, Zir, the sun, and Leash, the cold, met one another during the Oog, the great cataclysm. Sexy. From this, Zilish was born. Life appeared, and the Brotherhood of the Gods sent their youngest son of the light, who was called Kard Nakam. Alas, some deleterious fumes emanating from the great sulfur mine disfigured him. His horribly mutilated face escaped the gods, and it was decided that Kard Nakam would have to forever hide his face and Holy never fuck. again appear in front of the noble assembly. Condemned to roam the cosmos forever, Kardnikam saw his name erased from the divine law. He who wanders without a face became then known as Dark Monk. Zelish was populated with four different races, condemned by the gods to fight each other forever. But, life being stronger, the divine brotherhood hurled Zelish into the first sun of the Nove system. This shock created the planet such as we know it, a blanket of clouds isolating the rocky summits from the melting ground. Cool. I understand that completely. I don't need to read it again. Oh, God, there's another one. <laughs> so we have a dude called Dark Monk who somehow got his name reversed and was originally someone else whose name I can't pronounce and can't think right now. Dark Monk backwards, whatever it is. Um, he did something. His name got erased. The planet got thrown into the sun. Got it. Then Dark Monk came back. Jesus, and fuck. And <laughs> the latest verdict from the gods. The races were to fraternize and share the task of returning Zelish to its former beauty. He unveiled a great wonder. From the deadly cloud 
hideous monsters were born and threatened to invade the planet. But thanks to his key, Dark Monk also gave rise to a volcano which erupted and sculpted in basalt a gigantic statue in his image, holding the stone book of the 10,000 names. At each ceremony, lightning would henceforth inscribe once more the name of God, Dark Monk. Before disappearing, Dark Monk broke his key into four pieces and thus revealed the great prophecy. On the day when the 10,000th name of God is engraved, the reunion of the four fragments of the key will make the monsters and the gas disappear and will give back to Zelish the heavenly appearance of its origin. Life will then be reborn as it was in the time of Eden. Oh, this game was doing so well. It's gone into the whole frigging lore dump style of storytelling. And um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to go back and rewind that mm. just to really understand what it's saying. So I can't imagine that Twinson is not involved somehow. But we didn't hear anything about Twinson or Twin Sun or anything like that. It was all Dark Monk this, Dark Monk that. I've got this weird ass pillar with 10,000 names on it. Oh, wow. Okay, so clearly this is not a bar. I can't read the words Dark Monk on that though. The bar must be back at Ochengor. So how about we... Oh, you might want to skip ahead a bit because this might take me a while. Well, let's see if we can get over here. So yeah, this one... Um... Oh, wait, we can use a jetpack. At least for the first part here, we have a slope, so we can use the jetpack to get over here. No, never mind. Ah, oh, Twinson, you are the worst. Can I really not use the... <sighs> that sucks. Oh, Jesus. Please. Yeah, so I've secretly played this game many times before, and that's how I was able to do it. Basically, after my second go, I was just faking that, and okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I thought that was it. Can I make that jump, or is it too late? I think it might be too late to make this one. Yeah, definitely too late. Alright. We'll be patient. I just hope this leads somewhere useful and that I do not need to um, make my way back. That meteor or lava or whatever it is crashing down on the other side looks really, really scary. I heard that. Got it. I got it. Uh, how much damage have I taken? Not much. Jetpack, maybe? Jetpack, yes. That was unexpected. Holy shit. EP Major, how you doing? Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, I could probably just make that jump, can't I? I have no idea why I'm going this way. Okay, I'm here. Now I was. Um, I didn't see anything on the slope that I... Oh, the crystals, crystals, crystals. Can I do anything with these? Oh, this crystal is way too heavy. I need some kind of tool to break off a piece. I imagine I do not have a tool. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so maybe the answer is that I need to go back to... I don't have to go back. I can just jump over the left there and get back to the dude who told me where to go back to Ochengor. So let's go back there and have a chat to whoever is at the bar. And hopefully I won't take too much more damage. Yeah, I should be able to go this way. Alright, down we go. Oh shit, this guy's respawned. Hello. The pair I am charging is five Zalitos. Where would you like to go, sir? Oh, we can go there now. Let's go back to Otringal because we've been given an objective to go to the bar. Otringal. Been good with testing out and routing new game plus stuff in this game as I saw it your life. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. I really do appreciate it. Ah, uh, come on, get on board. I probably won't play this long enough to get to new game plus. Um, I probably just want to get this done and move on. I'm enjoying myself though. So. Dude mentioned a bar, and I don't know if this is it. Hello. Mm -hmm. You look a lot like the one all the cops are after. I mean, you're not wrong. Was it you? Hello, sir. I, uh, I might be able to help you. I'd like to see Rick, the boss. The boy don't see nobody. I'd like to see Rick, the boss. The boy don't see nobody. Hmm. You know Rick? I'd like to see him. Yeah, I see who it is. A bit of free advice. Don't try to reach him. Not only is he highly respected and inaccessible, but this is his home turf. Just drop it. Give us our money. Hello. Go try your luck at the Casino Gloom. I've been there. There's always a surprise waiting for you. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Hmm. I wonder if this is connected to the uh, casino upstairs. Because I definitely got into the back room up there, but I didn't see a Hello. way to proceed. Saw nothing, heard nothing. Now beat it. Hello. The shows here are truly awful. But they have that certain touch of sleazy slickness. Don't you think? Hello. Hello, uh, sir. You sound uncertain of yourself. Uh, just want to try this because I can see that there are keys on the slots here as well. I'm wondering if getting a key Give here... Us our money back! Dude, shut up. Um, I'm wondering if getting a key here is possible and or if that will let me into the room on the right-hand side. It's upstairs at the Hotel Gloom. Give we got a key. Our money back! And we managed to get inside. One key in the sensor reel there, so I suspect this is plausible. Give us our money back. Failing that, we could get in through maybe the back room, backstage. EP Major, no, they're not dropped here as far as I know. Yep, that advice is fine. Thank you. Um, I'll give it a few more goes, but yeah. I definitely saw a key upstairs and used that to enter the room where we got ambushed. Fought my way through those guys and then could not give proceed. Us our money back. I'll go down to 140. Give 
Give us our money back. Nothing. All right. Oh, there's another. God damn it. I thought that was the only slot machine in here. There's probably another one on the right, right? Give us our money back. No. What about behind here? Hey, get lost, man. Sure thing, Jane. All right, these things. One bit of advice is try not to, is to try and, I'm having so much trouble reading that. One bit of advice is to not try to make sense of the layout of anything here. So I'm guessing what that means is I can make the jump from here to here. We can push it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm surprised we can make that jump. Okay. So this has got to be one of the two ways in. Damn, there's no sound effect as we're pushing this. This is really freaky. I don't like hearing absolutely nothing. Because that means you are also hearing absolutely nothing, and that freaks me out. Um, let's put you over there for now while I get this one into position. That should do, and I need to place this at roughly a halfway point. All right, we'll see if that works. the notorious twin Sunian who's dying to see me. You're on the run, my friend. The police are all after you. Impressive. So spit it out. What do you want? I just want the next objective so I can move on with this game. The Emperor had some secret base built on Island CX. From there, he'll trigger the firing of these reactors built on the moon in utmost secrecy, which will destroy my whole planet. I've got to go to this island to prevent this from happening. Could you help me get there? You know what the best part of that is? We didn't mention the children once. I haven't forgotten about the children. I mean, I get it. If the planet, if the planet gets destroyed, who cares about the children? But, yeah, you know, I just find it very, very funny. I'll level with you. Unfortunately, I have no one who can accommodate your needs. But there is a group of dissidents who are very hostile to the government. Go see Johnny Rocket. Tell him Rick sent you, and he'll take you to them. He lives at the Imperial Hotel in the Upper City. We're actually get, getting to go to a hotel. That's in, in the Upper City, which we saw earlier on the video, that um, we couldn't get up there. So hopefully, hopefully when we get back up there, hopefully the elevators have been activated. Hopefully. Yep. All right. Uh, do you mind if I wash my hands, fellas? Can't even get close to the thing. Do you have anything? To... Oh, no. There we go. I'm glad I persisted. Do you have anything to say for yourself, sir? Hello. No touch the boss. Well, now I have to touch him. The Emperor had some secret bit I'll level with. I have to touch the boss. No boss, no touch. Damn, okay. Whew. 
This guy is actually taking damage, so maybe I can actually kill him. What do you think now? The Emperor had a level. Nothing? I just killed your bodyguard. Are you not gonna like hire me or something? The Emperor had some a level with you. Ah, game. Just want to check if there's anything behind him. I'll load. I think Twinson has murdered enough people without me adding an innocent bodyguard onto the list. Four magic. The Emperor. Yeah, I can't. And I can get health here as well. Yep, yeah, alright. Swinson, stop being a murderous asshole and just go have a chat to Johnny Rocket. So yeah, I do wonder what the other method is to get into that room, whether it is getting a key to go inside that door or what. Give us our money back. Because honestly, that stage door was reasonably well hidden. I'll look it up later. Uh, let's go up here and see if we can get access to the upper city. Murderer! They recognize me now. Has that image changed? I thought there were two cat pictures on the previous stream. Oh. Hey there! Don't forget my castle chum! I really need it to repair the vessel! And I think you'll really appreciate what it does to your proto pack. You want the Gazza gem? That's fine. I just want to see you in that little condom spacesuit again. Um, yeah, you've mentioned the proto pack twice now. That's got to be important, surely. Um, yeah, I'm getting attacked now. Holy shit. Oh well, it was nice while it lasted. You know what? Screw you. Ah, uh, the elevator's is still not active. Oh, look at that wanted sign. Hello. Criminal! Help! Yes, summon people from upstairs. No, not that upstairs. God damn it. No, nope, you're not taking me to prison. Never mind. EP Major, by the way, remember the colour of the pants of the Esmer Ambassadors in their green suits? I do not. Is that a reference to getting inside this room? Hello? Ah, aren't you the one the police are after? I heard you want to stop Dark Monk from celebrating the last ceremony. The one that'll rid us of the curse. Please, don't screw it up. We've been waiting for a millennia. Me screw things up? Never. Hello, sir. I... Hello. Why not just enjoy the show instead of fretting like this? Give us our money back. Alright, so... From what I can see, I don't see the reason to go... Oh, it's a photo of Twinson. I was looking at the photo just up there next to the cat, uh -huh. and I thought it was like a submarine or something, but no, this, that is a side-on shot of Twinson. That is not a very flattering photo. Alright, well there's one place we haven't been. Hello? For five salitos, I can be taking you somewhere. The Island of the Francos. Just a bit of trivia to ponder. Yeah, it's got to mean something, EP Major. It's got to mean something. It's all good.
Oh, this place looks dangerous. I mean, there's a nice sign here, but everything else looks horrible. Well, at least they're not attacking me on sight. That's a uh, positive. You are at the village of the Francos. Oh, hello. Well, this is probably where I need to be. I need to break into that refinery, murder a bunch of people, and then grab the Gazer gem, give it back to the condom elephant, and he's going to upgrade my proto pack. Uh, just your standard vendor. Hello. Since everyone started looking for our fragment, I've turned the bazaar into a treasure hunter shop. If you want to buy something from me, you just have to stand in front of it and do action. What on earth is this frying pan? This frying pan is not for sale. It's only for the decor. Touche, game. Touche. Um, this thing, though. A pickaxe costs... 20 Zolitos. I've got the money and I think I'll grab that. I think I need to use that, potentially, on the gems that we saw on Celebration. Okay. You just bought a pickaxe. Use it to dig or detach rocks and pieces of crystal. Esmer ambassadors. Basically, all of them had yellow pants and broken accents, except the very first guy. You're going to make me look at the video after the stream that I've got recorded on my drive. All of them had yellow pants and broken accents, except the very first one. Hmm. What about this abacus here? Nothing. I assume... Do I want to go back and grab the... I'll go back. There's no guarantee that um, I need to use that gem right now, Hello? so I'll go back and grab it. The fair I am touching is the island of the celebration. Come on. There we go. I mean, if we're supposed, if you're supposed to fight as part of your job and you die in a fight, then can you really call it murder? All's well, fair in love and war and all that stuff. Uh, let me through, sir. I really want those five Zlitos to pay for my fare. Thank you. All right. The abacus is just for decor, no touching. I mean, she didn't tell me that. Maybe it's how she handles her finances. I don't know. I don't judge. God damn it. I'm shocked that I can't use a jetpack to get over that first one. Crystal is way too heavy. I need some kind of tool to break off a piece. 
Fortunately, I just bought a tool for 20 Zlitos that may or may not serve the purpose here. You just found a piece of the Crystal of Celebration. Now you can reload your laser pistol. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spoilers, game. <laughs> We're getting a laser pistol. Ah, all right. Do I load or not? Fuck it. I've taken some damage anyway. It's fine. So I imagine we're going to get a laser pistol either in the Franco refinery or shortly afterwards. Damn, these guys respawned. No, they didn't. Never mind. Hello. Dapper, I am charging. Nowhere. I'm staying. I'm mashing Hello. escape. Dapper, I... The island of. I'm not trying to speed run. I'm just trying to get through the dialogue as quickly as possible because I've wasted a lot of time today already. All right. We have a lot of hearts. Can I talk to you? Many, 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 many. That'll be a no. So the refinery is that away, and we've got at least four or five houses to look at. Hello. Digging the size of the island, it's geological structure and wind direction into account, I have concocted a potion which should allow me to precisely determine the location of the fragment. Unfortunately, I uh, uh, lost the vial. <laughs> and you're just going to leave it there, Swinson? You're not going to question maybe where he's been, last movements, that sort of thing? Well, don't mind me, sir. I'm just going to ransack your place and see if I can find it. Okay, that's nothing. I'm wandering around here mashing W. Yes, my finger is on the correct key. And nothing's happening. Is that a sign or something outside? Mr. Kurtz. Retired colonel, specializing in non-scientific sciences. So he's a quack, in other words. I was literally just about to ask, is this a gay bar because of the rainbow outside? And it does actually look like a bar, at least. Hello. Stories of fragment hunting. Me, I think Roger lost it at home before getting eaten by the monster. What are you gonna do? At least it's good for business. At least this looks like a place where you can have fun. Uh, getting eaten by the monster, though, maybe. No, I don't think that's anything. I hope that's just flavor text. Hello? Yeah, it's pretty serious, this here story. Better be found this er, fragment, cause no fragment, no ceremony, and no paradise. Bah! I don't even give a hoot. I got myself a vineyard. <laughs> Come on, Mister, just a snort. Mm. I thought you were drunk, but no, that sounds uh, significantly worse, buddy. Is there really nothing in here? I mean, I'm pushing W on the suspicious places, but nothing is popping.
Okay, we've got one heart out of this room so far. Holy shit. Maybe what those two have to say is actually important. Something about a monster and something about um, someone being so coked up of his ass that he can't form a coherent sentence, like me. Uh, what have you got? Hello. I'm uh, certain that our fragment's buried here. Obviously, it must be hidden under the grass. I mean, the Burger Master couldn't have buried it under the rock. Am I right? So clearly it's buried under the rock. You got it. Oh god, we found children. Oh, it's all over, chat. Hello? Because of this lost fragment nonsense, everyone's looking for it, so they leave the little rugrats with me all day long. They just don't stop falling. I'm gonna look for another job soon. Just don't give them to Swinson, please. Children hate Swinson confirmed. Hello. I won't talk. My parents put me here to punish me because I lost the key to our house. It wasn't my fault. That thief of an owl took it from me. That filthy mechanical owl. And it's not a loser like you who's going to help me. Like I said, fuck the children. The children hate me and I hate the children. This is a great symbiotic relationship which I think we can all identify with. Hello? Because of this. I don't think symbiotic is the right word to use there, but I don't care. It sounds complicated. Uh, mechanical owl that's stolen a key that is preventing access to a house. I don't immediately know which house. This little structure here is the bar. All three little blobs. We have this weird dude who sits in here who's lost his vial. We have the creche or the nursery or whatever you want to call it. I don't ever want to set foot in there again. I imagine I will though because of that kid. Who are you? Hello. Roger de La Fontaine. He was my brother. He was the local burger master, you know, who was responsible for our fragment. Roger, he kept hiding the fragment somewhere without telling anyone until the accident. Pity. He was eaten by a monster from the gas. Oh, okay. You're the second person to mention that. So I imagine there's something involved with that monster. And today, nobody knows where the heck the fragment is. That's why everyone is digging all over the place. But why didn't he leave any notes? I don't think so. Anyhow. That's not the correct answer to that. Ornamented <laughs> with little stuffed monsters from the gas? Well... It is locked. Besides, I lost a key. Then... You actually mentioned a lot there, but I was completely distracted by your response of I don't think so, which doesn't work in English. Why don't we get the children to look for the key? I mean, they, they're not proper employees. We don't have to pay them. You can just get them to look for the key, and you guys can do more useful things, like drink at the pub all day. And then he just walks off and leaves that conversation hanging. Hello? You're not done. Roger de La Fontaine. He was my brother. He was a local burger master, you know? And today, nobody knows where the heck the fragment is. Why didn't he leave That's any notes? I don't think so. Anyhow. The closet that he had ornamented with little stuffed monsters from the gas? Well, it is locked. Besides, I lost the key. Then... Then what? Don't leave me hanging. Yeah, I know. It was developed in a place, I think, where English wasn't oh. their first language. It's totally fine. I'm just being a shithead. Um, I do wonder what's been cut at the end there, though. It's locked. So this has little stuffed ornaments of the monsters in here, which... I don't know if this is the same key as what the kid was mentioning in the other building, and I don't really want to go back into that other building because then I'd have to see the children again. So we'll let that go. 
but it sounds like we're going to have to find at least a key to get into here. From a mechanical hour, perhaps. And then we're going to have to hunt down some kind of monster. Maybe that thing in the background there. Roger de la Fontaine. Franco Burgermeister. Oh, so you pronounce it Meister, which I thought was the correct way of pronouncing it, but everyone else is saying Master. Yeah, it's just an English localization thing. I'm not actually mad. Can I reach the other side of this place? Because I can see some people, or at least one person, directly ahead of me. Hello. Reckles. A bunch of reckles live in this village. Even the birds are stupid. Especially this owl who came to roost here. He quietly took possession of this niche and now it's his home. Uh, are you saying that the owl took ownership of this little cave here? And if so, can you move so I can get the key inside or something else? I don't know. What do you have to say for yourself? Hello. You're dousing for the fragment. This is Roger La Fontaine. He used to go pretty close to the gas. Could well be where he hid it, our fragment. Also, burger, not burger, but the American localizers know better. <laughs> no comments. I know it's burger, Meister. It's, um, yeah. It's just a localization thing. It's all good. Alright, um, I don't want to get too close to this thing because that looks dangerous. I imagine though what I need to do next is get the Gazza gem. This looks dangerous. Alright, so breaking it here, can I just walk through the front gate perhaps? Well, that's a no. Uh, maybe I can cause some chaos here. Okay, that's interesting. It's basically disappearing the moment it hits that thing. But I definitely can't interact with it. Ah, uh, can I go around perhaps? No, that looks pretty inaccessible. I could maybe clip through there and maybe that's a speedrun technique, but there's got to be something else I can do here. This fence looks lower than the other sections. I don't know if that means anything. Have a look at the fence there. It's horizontal all the way over. Up until the gate, but that doesn't count. But this fence is distinctly lower than the others. Maybe I can just jump over the fence. Can I get up on this? Yes, I can. Okay. I could maybe make the jump immediately over to my right, but I'm just going to try heading up here first. No, that's not happening. Maybe I can... Can I make that? Oh, I totally can. I am a genius. All right. We're in and we're not getting out without a fight. Uh, this looks like a building. It's totally a building. It's much larger on the inside than it looks from the outside. This place looks complicated. It's probably really simple, but just looking at it, it looks complicated. OK, 
Okay, I think that's shut down one of the two vents on the right. And this one's probably going to shut down the other. Maybe. Oh, I'm trying to interact with you, but it's not letting me. There we go. Great, okay, so let's... Wait, what? You troll. So we can turn both of them off, but he's going to come up. He's going to recognize that. He's going to come up and then immediately switch them both back on. Okay, that is a problem. Ericon, how are you doing? Thank you for hanging out, as always, man. New to go get breaking and entering wobble effect. I like it. window on this looks very narrow. Oh, I tried. I'll make it, though. Alright, where are we? That key looks mighty suspicious on the right there. Just want to have a look this way and see if you have anything nice to say to me. You don't, so I'm going to kill you instead. Uh, what do these do? That's disabled both of the ones on the right there, so maybe we can get to the key now. Ah, but it switched those to one. Interesting. Uh, is this a trap? It totally is. Just in case I need to return there, I'll make sure it's not switched on. Alright, I need to head back up, switch that one off upstairs, and then I probably need to use the key to get through those doors. There we go, key used. Okay, I'm not sure what that one disabled, whether there were two on the right there, or whether it's somewhere else, or whether or not it actually does nothing. But the one on the left appeared to disable the one on the left. Let me just switch this one back on. Okay, that's just switching it between upper and lower. So I do wonder whether we just have to run through this. Is there something under here? Yes, there is. Uh, clovers would be... Yes, thank you, game. Thank you. I need one more before I'm topped off. I guess this is just a secret room. The perspective on this place is so confusing. Where do I need to go? Uh, do I need to jump up, perhaps? Uh, 
I don't see where to jump up though. Having said that, am I actually going to take damage from these things? I'm sure I am, but let me check. Yes, of course I am. I was thinking maybe one of them could propel me upwards or something. The area directly ahead of me looks like somewhere where there would be an elevator. Let me just try going back this... God damn it, Swenson. Swenson, please. Let me just switch this back on. No, nothing doing here. Um, there's got to be something super obvious that I'm missing. Maybe, perhaps, even in the secret room where I went earlier. Can I go this way? No. Let me have a look at that secret room again. Is there an exit just here and I completely missed it? No, there isn't. Um, there's some nice ISO platforming to be done. Yeah, I figure there's something that I'm missing. Like a path that I just, my brain just can't comprehend this at the moment. I think perhaps I can get up here. Or not. But then that wouldn't lead anywhere. I can get on these pipes. I could maybe get on the pipe just on my left here, that little sliver. Yeah, I've got to admit I'm not immediately seeing the answer here. Pushing W bit. It looks like there should be an... Oh, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I thought that looked like an elevator. Holy shit. I'm not happy about that at all. Alright, it's not a trap. It's just a cunningly hidden elevator in the floor. Which I need to activate using W. You can do it, Swinson. Come on. So it looks like there is actually a path down the bottom of this screen, and I do wonder whether I can go this way. And or is there anything to be found? And maybe I have to go this way because I don't have any means of getting through this door, so... I'll take it. So, switching that little switch thing there, it has turned on the things directly beneath me. It has turned off the one directly beneath me now, and it looks like I have to traverse that path because I can see the key on the right-hand side directly ahead of me. Question is, how do we reach that? Do we have to make a jump from here? Because if so, that is a hell of a jump. Can we take a running jump? 
I didn't think we could outside of the world map. We totally can. Alright. So, we need to make this jump. That's the first priority. And now we have to traverse this path. Avoiding all of these things and avoid falling into these pools of water because apparently Twinson can't swim. I mean, to be fair, they probably, they've probably got a deadly chemical in them or something, so it's fine. Alright, what's the pattern here? Bottom one. Top one. Bottom one. Oh, that's not good. That was the top one. Decoded that like a boss. I just guessed. Alright, let's open this door and move to the next room. Oh, God. Alright. Fortunately, sir, you need to die. Damn, you just straight out dropped the key, okay. Uh, nothing underneath here, no. I'm looking at the right hand path and the left hand path and I think I can just... No, nah, they're firing a little bit too quickly. There's no pattern, but they're just firing just a fraction too quickly. Whereas this, they're firing slower, and that's going to give me a chance to get... No, they're not firing slower. Okay, maybe it's nothing. Oh, God. So I need to stand on the first one, then get onto the second one and run. No, that's not the answer either. Or, you know, we could just take the hit to make the play. I'm trying to discern the pattern, not that it's very helpful, but it looks like the bottom two are turned off at the moment. That looks much more helpful. And I wonder if uh, being indiscreet would help here, because maybe I can duck underneath those two. It's unlikely though. That just works. Okay. Oh, how much more? This building looks so small from outside. For reals. That's it. No clovers, no magic, no caches. I mean, I'm on the wrong planet for that, but I thought there would be more. Sounds like there's a dog barking somewhere. Speaking of the devil. Um, yeah, I think I need to jump over to the right hand side. I can drop down here, but then that sort of leads to a dead end. I can climb back up on the left there. But for now, I think I just need to make my way over this thing. Not like that. Um, 
I need to make my way over this thing onto the right hand side, onto the stairs. Like so, and we'll s Twinson, please. Don't know if these dudes are going to attack me on sight or not. Maybe we're not going that way. Um, okay. I did not see this one. Uh, what did that do? Immediate thought is that guy should come downstairs and open the door to sick the dogs on me. Maybe if I hit him from up here. Nope, nothing. Yeah, we're definitely not making this jump on the right hand side. Oh, maybe I can hit him from... Maybe I can hit the dogs from here. This... Lever here is concerning me. So that is not deactivating the one that just hit me right now. That is still lit. But I don't see what else that, that actually did. This is the one on the right. Uh, could I maybe climb over the gate by using this? No. Okay, I can damage these things, and that makes me wonder if, um, if he'll actually spot this and do something. One down. Let's just see if he changes his behavior. Nothing. Ah, uh, what am I missing? Do I need to take out the other dog, perhaps? I just can't imagine this being the answer. But the fact is, he's coming down here. I can't damage him with the ball. Could maybe try damaging him with the blowgun or something. Let's just see if something happens now. Wait, is he coming down faster or is it just me? Nothing doing. Sam, and I was really hoping he'd let the dogs out so I could play the song. Uh... I'm not immediately seeing how to progress. Swinson, dude. I really thought I'd be able to make that jump, but I can't. Oh, I am hitting him. What the hell? The first time I hit him, that did nothing. So, hang on. So, if I hit him hard enough... I can 
hear myself talking there. One sec, chat. Please. Nah, he's not doing it. God damn it. He drops the key. Ah, I can reach him with my ball, can't I? Yep, okay. I was going to play Who Let the Dogs Out on my tablet and blast it over the microphone, but that's probably going to get me DMCA'd anyway, so not the greatest of ideas. Uh, hello. Another key. Uh, I would love to go upstairs right now because that thing looks like the gazer gem which I've come for. Problem is, this thing is blocking my way. Really? Surely that's not the answer. Did I just break something? You just found a can of Gazo Gem. This fuel will allow you to get your new super jet pack. Nice. Man, that place looks so much larger on the inside. You look at it, it looks so small, but then you really get into it and it's so large. That's what I keep telling her and she's just not interested. Anyway, how do we get out of here? Uh, that looks very suspicious. Or is it just me? I see that thing on the left there looking orange, and I'm like, yep, you can blow that up. But no, I think that's just the texture that they've chosen. Is there any way out of here? We have a building on the right-hand side there, which I think I'll just make a break for. Oh, God. I totally meant that first story. So I'm guessing we just need to fight our way through this port area and get back to the main village. Oh, we're not getting through there. Uh, can I just exit through the main gate? No, I can't. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. No, I couldn't have made the jump from the top there because that grace is blocking the way. So there's got to be another way out of here. And it's either through here or it's somewhere else that I'm missing. So how about we just try... What do we do? This door is not opening. Let's try taking you... Actually, wait a minute. Can I go up here? Hang on. Can I get out this way, perhaps? No, that's not happening. Um, where am I going? Isn't there something stacked for our convenience? If there is EP Major, I am not seeing it. I didn't see anything inside the building here. Mm. 
And I didn't see anything immediately outside that I could get on. Maybe these tanks? But then I don't see where to go here unless that would be a hell of a jump to get over there. Or there, or there. Um... I do see those barrels there. Uh, maybe. I think those might be a fraction higher than a pipe outside. Damn, okay, that was an interesting optical illusion there. I thought it was, um... Lower than this thing here. Good call, you Major. Thank you. I would have been there a while otherwise. All right, let's go have a chat to the condom elephant. Hello. The fair I am charging is five salitos. Where would you like to be going, sir? Otringal. Right, we need to make our way back over these rocks. Is this a trap? I mean, technically, yes. Especially if I make a jump like that. Holy shit. Uh, jetpack here. Scary ass monster there. Alright, I think I have to go left. I think. We'll find out in half a second. We good. Dude, I've got your gazer gem. Do something. What should I do? You must go get me some gazer gem so that I can finish to repair our vessel and make your proto pack more powerful. Do it. Thank you, Twinson. Now I can make us a ship that can erase the comets. Anyway, here's something to turn your proto pack into a super jetpack. And from now on, you can fly higher. Jerome just gave you the super jetpack. It will allow you to reach places you couldn't get to using the protopack. Firstly, nice. Secondly, your name is not Jerome. Your name is Condom Elephant. Well, I mean, it's moving faster, so that's a huge improvement, but I'm still restricted by the, I'll call it the core geometry, I'll call it. But look at that, we're a lot higher above the ground now. That's great. So, my Swinson, please. Did I save? Yes, good. My immediate thought is that I want to go back up into the Gloom Hotel. Hotel? Casino. Whatever it's called. And I want to get into the back room again so that I can go over that ice flow. And I'm wondering, and EP Major, if you're there, feel free to tell me flat out whether I can do this or not. I'm wondering if I can actually get back into that room now that I've been in there at least once. So I'm guessing the way forward is through here. Yep. That is going to get me up the elevators to the upper city where I can meet Johnny Rocket. But right now, my top priority is to die, or load my game at least. And I want to see if I can get back into the hotel, into the back room at Gloom. But it's going to involve winning the jackpot again. Well, this guy's not going to let me through in a hurry. All right, fine. You asked for this. Swinson, I'm on a timer here. Please just hit him.
OFC, you can just win the jackpot again. Sounds easy enough. Thanks for that. Um, let me just have chats of this guy as well. What? Okay, this dude has done a runner. Out of order. No gazogen. And I'm guessing I don't have any left either. Hmm, okay. There wasn't a choice there, was there? Like, I couldn't go up to that guy and give him the gazogem. I can't test now because I just saved over that game. God damn it. It's okay. Yes, let me promote gambling some more. Hello. You can try your... Alright, skip ahead a few minutes. Because the guy at the uh, petrol station, gas station, whatever it's called in your part of the world, he was whinging about Gazagem. But the thing is, between some random NPC whinging about Gazagem and someone telling me I can improve your proto pack, I will take the latter. In your part of the world, EP Major, it is called Benzene. You don't have to tell me where you are, I won't look that up, I promise. Um, I have heard of that word before when I was studying chemistry in school, but I've never heard it since. Called Benzene. Hmm. Well, at least we're not losing money here. And even playing the other games, we didn't lose money. But this is just slow and tedious. But it should turn up eventually. There we go. And that is how easy it is to win the big jackpot. Gamble responsibly, kids. Welcome, my dear sir. Welcome, welcome to our wheel of fortune. Yeah, I know how this works. Is this a trap? Bonsai! I'm pretty certain the answer is yes. What even is their end game here? That they just lure people into the back room and kill them? Because that's really, really bad for business, if you ask me. You'd be so much better off just, you know, keeping them as loyal customers and whatnot. Alright, so having made it this far, my question is does this work? Yes. No! Jesus fuck. I appreciate the troll. Appreciate the troll. Can I go back in here? I should be able to go back in there. Surely. Um, okay, I'm quite confused now. I 
I am confused. The Yeti mic uh, cable is actually on the keyboard over those keys. Okay, so I've just completely wasted my time. So again, you've seen there that gambling does not get me anywhere in life. I think that's a valuable lesson which we can all take to heart. I gambled, now I've joined the army and I'm getting shot at. Uh, discreet perhaps? Or I can just run through it. I don't see anything behind you, so I'll leave you guys be. Those are some nice goose steps, buddy. Uh, are you two going to attack me on site? Of course you are. Jesus fuck. Uh, let's take you out from range. Oh, you're immune to my magic ball. Okay. We'll just make our way into this building here. We've been at the lower floor of this building, so let me just go inside if I can. Just see if there's anything interesting in here at all. Help! Apart from people who want to kill me. Have they activated the elevators at least? They have not. Alright, I really have to question whether I needed to go into the back room at all. I mean, all I really got out of that was a lot of money. 100 times 2 is 200 zlitos, so I am rich. Maybe I just need the jetpack from that posi particular position to get onto the mountain. But I was able to get to that position earlier. So yeah, I reckon going there was a complete waste of time. But anyway. This looks like a great establishment you've got here, sir. Hello. Oh no! You can't get in here! It's closed! Members only! Quit loitering now, and get moving. You're talking to a murderer, sir. I'd watch your tone. Insert ten zlitos if you want ten life points. I'm not interested. I'm a little bit low, but I've never used uh, coins to purchase life or magic out of those things. And I'm not about to start now. Oh, it's one of those little dogs that rich people keep in their vagina. So cute. Um, where else can we go? Wait, that's it? Huh. Oh, hello there. Don't, don't mind me. Can I talk to you at least? I just want to talk, lady. This isn't what it seems. I don't normally do this. I mean, it is Friday night. This is not a normal Friday night for me, but on any other day of the week, I don't do this, I promise. Jesus, Twinson, you are the... Twinson is both a murderer and a frigging stalker now. Holy shit. I feel deeply uncomfortable. I'm looking for a Mr. Johnny Rocket. He's our greatest hero. The first one to set foot on Mysterious Twinson. Thanks to him, we'll get much needed help from the Twinsonian wizards. He's over there in the armchair with his manicurist. Was he the one that was not wearing the standard Esmer attire?
the hell is this? It's a very weird looking pool. Like the texture on it doesn't actually look like a water texture. Uh, there's nothing but there, so... We're just going to have a chat to Mr. Johnny Rocket. I can't imagine that's his real name. Aracon, I mean, with how much he has done this, you'd think he would be on a list by now. Absolutely. Swinson's turned from just this weird guy into a complete anti-hero. Are you Mr. Rocket? That's me. What do you want? I'm here on behalf of Rick to look for the dissidents. And I desperately need to get to Island CX. Okay, hang on. So if this was the guy who originally set foot on Twinson, the first one, why would he be in cahoots with the dissidents? I mean, the army or whoever that he took there seems to be fiercely loyal to whatever faction it is, and they seem to be intent on kidnapping us and destroying Twinson. They're Lords of the Dark Monk, so I'm a little bit lost by this guy actually leading the charge, so to speak. Shut up! Are you nuts? Never mention the rebels in public. Meet me in my room. We can talk without danger. You see, that's the right way to do it, Swinson. You speak to them first, and then they invite you into their room. You don't crawl through their fucking windows. Cutscene time. You are lucky to come on behalf of Rick. The government is looking for the dissidents and you are very rash. What do you want? I want to murder some people. The Emperor had some secret base built on Island CX. From there, he'll trigger the firing of these reactors built on the moon in utmost secrecy, which will destroy my whole planet. I've got to go to this island to prevent this from happening. Could you help me get there? I know you. You're Twinson, the hero of your planet. And the a murderer. Emperor and Dark Monk fear you. That's why you're a wanted man. Because I'm a murderer. Twins will help you. Here, take this ring. Go to the Twin Sunnian souvenir shop and show it to the salesman. He'll take you to them. Could I not just go up to the person and say, I'm a murderer, you could use my services? I don't know. You just found the ring of dissidents. It's their identification sign, and it will allow you to be identified by all the dissidents that you meet. Damn, girl, you went into a very smooth, mysterious voice just then. Okay, uh, do you have anything else to say, Mr. Rocket? Hello. So, have you seen the dissidents? Not yet. The fact that you're saying that implies that I'm going to be coming back here. But Twinson, can you not ask him what his real name is? Please. Hello. Uh I adore this hotel. Kind of a private club. Only the finest elements of society are allowed entry. <laughs> He's speaking to a murderer and a uh, stalker lady. Aracon, I choose to interpret that bed sheet as having a sea dragon on it. I will now fight and die on this hill. What else would it be? I mean, I definitely see the resemblance. I thought it looked like um, one of those one of those sea creatures that we've been seeing outside with the long necks and the terrifying jaw. I mean, I don't know what the grey thing was supposed to be outside on the walls, but I completely interpreted it as a cat, and I will absolutely die on that hill as well. Hey buddy, are you a dissident? Hello. What are you doing here? You don't belong. Now get out! Alright, so preemptively saying to the lady in the bathroom, it's his fault that I'm going to have to break in a second time. Hopefully you finish in the bathroom when we come back. 
Uh, we need to go to the souvenir shop. So hopefully the elevators are now activated. That statue. The elevators are not activated, so I guess that means we're going the long way around. Swinson, please. I mean, I know it's my fault, but I'm just whinging at you. Uh, is there a way down here? No, that's fenced off. Just want to make sure I can't get into that room on the right there. Can I really go this way? No. Yep. Well, that's locked and I've got two dudes with sabers bearing down on me. run past you two. Alright, so we have to get back to the area directly ahead of us. I tried doing that earlier and I couldn't get back. I don't know whether I was just going in at the wrong angle or what. Yeah, I'm having trouble with that. I can't get back in this way. Can I jump with this jetpack? That's a no. Ah, uh, what am I missing? I really don't think going down this way is the answer. If I could get back inside this door, that would solve the problem because I'll be able to make my way through the back door of gloom. Yeah, I was kind of anticipating that. Ah, uh, how do I get back? Wait, can I just fall down the elevator shaft? I totally can, can't I? Oh boy. Alright, souvenir shop was... I think it's this thing directly ahead of me, so I need to get past this dude on the bridge. We know how to do that. Please. Oh, come on! Meanwhile, the other dude's going to turn around and shoot me from behind. Fine. Taking so much damage. Alright, what you got for me, sir? Apart from a shitty shirt that says, I love Twin Sun. Hello. I couldn't help but notice you're from Twin Sun. Would you be interested in selling me anything from your planet? Something little, little bitty even. I've got some Twin Sunian money. Mm, I'll take your junk for 20 litos. I don't care about that. Stand in front of the article of your choice and do action if you want to buy it. Action this, buddy. He 
Are you just going to open up that damn... Yep, of course you are. Downstairs, you'll find the rest of the dissidents waiting for you. Johnny has told us you are coming. He must have climbed down the shaft as well while I wasn't looking. Um... So, are you the twin Sonny and Johnny told us about? That bowler has. That's me. I have to get to Island CX and somehow destroy the control center of the lunar reactors before they're fired and the moon starts falling toward Twin Sun. And I have to save some children as well, but I've completely forgotten about those. Now I understand everything. Dark Monk will explode your planet on the day of his big ceremony. It's the fire from the skies he's always been preaching about. But how can we stop it? Island CX has become a forbidden zone. Nothing more. I don't know what to do. The island CX is totally inaccessible. You can't even get near it. We have to find a way to go to this island. But how? No taxi will go there. A guy I knew once tried to get clothes on a bet. But nobody's seen him since. That voice. Ah, uh, you must be one of the Muskibis or whatever they're called. I've got it. There's a passage between the Undergas and Island CX. The entrance is in the Muskibi village. That's what lets them keep the government soldiers out. Was that the village that we uh, passed through earlier on Franco? I don't think it is, because um, I didn't see more of those Muskibis on the right-hand side. I didn't see any of those hanging around there. We saw a lot of sausage dudes and some sausage dudes' children, uh, but we didn't see any Muskibis. But you're talking about a village, which makes me think, maybe that is the right place? I don't know. Listen, Twin Sun. Go to the Muskibi village in the Undergas. Most of our dissident comrades are already hiding out there. To get in, you have to take the elevator on the platform of the Francos. Speaking of the devil. So, they're in the undergas. We need to make our way back to Francos. Maybe we have to get back inside that uh, refinery area. And then go into that um, other building where we had two double doors where we couldn't get through. That's about the only place I can think of. To get in, you have to take the elevator on the platform to of the Francos. The elevator, you need a powerful weapon. Here. This is a pistol laser of Zarnon, but you will have to find a crystal to make it work. There are some on the side of the volcano of the celebration. Way ahead of you. I already have a crystal, so now I'll be able to use this laser pistol. You now own a laser pistol in working condition. It gives you enough firepower to reach distant targets that your magic ball cannot reach. Interesting. This room is so strange. Have a look at what's in here. There's chess pieces, there's matchsticks, there's earbuds up top there. I call them earbuds. Other countries call them different things. There's like a little glue bottle at the back here. Looks like a very shrunken down room, but the people inside obviously are full size. Hello. You're going to make it, Twin Sunny, and I'm sure of that. I'm a quetch, but anyway. Where should I go? Here's the deal. You have to go to the Franco's platform and take the elevator down to the undergas. Down? Once there, you'll have to find the Musky Bay village. I thought we were going up. I thought the undergas was a layer in the sky. Where should I go? From what we know, the passage is blocked by a door. The key belongs to the queen of the Musgibis. It's up to you to convince them of your good faith. But don't forget that our comrades are over there. I know what you're trying to do with that voice, but I can't stand it. What should I do? The passage that leaves the Musgibi village will allow you to reach Island CX directly. <sighs> Alright, looks like we're heading back to Franco's. Whoa, these paintings are bogus. Nobody knows for sure. Some guy found that drifting in space. Supposed to come from a very distant garbage can planet.
Giant paper clips here, chess pieces, maybe a bottle cap or something. Very strange room. Hello. Go, they're downstairs. Yeah, so I have to ask, I saved my planet. Are you going to recognize that? 20 life points cost 20 liters. No, you won't. I don't care. You should be freaking worshipping me, buddy. Alright. We apparently have a laser pistol. Somewhere. Right here. Pistol laser in working condition full stop. Does this thing work? It's fire race is a bit slow, and I'm firing at this guy, so I can't really get a feel for the amount of damage that's doing just yet, but let's try it out on this guy. Yeah, the fire rate is awful. Taking so much damage. Alright, so which one is the... Do I need the darts? <laughs> ah, that's the horn. I keep forgetting to use the horn. So, one, two, three, four to get through to the ball. Dart. Low gun and horn. Five, I don't appear to have, or at least it's a duplicate of the horn. Six is the laser pistol. Okay, so I think damage on that is roughly the same as the magic ball. I think it hit him five times and he went down in five shots. That's similar to how the ball is performing. Hello. The flabs of Leo's I can... The island of the Francos. Call me mashing. So I'm assuming this here is not the village of the Muscabies. You are at the village of the Francos. I've just understood why these guys are called Francos. Yeah, okay. I'm so dumb. So I don't see any arrows on the map here. Which is concerning me just a little bit. Elevated to the undergas. To get to that platform, I assume what we need to do is we need to get inside the building directly ahead and then get through those double doors. Now I'm wondering if the laser pistol could be used to trigger some of the switches on the other side of the room. Aricon, Swinson's default dance is getting a little slow. He must be hurt. I don't know, it still looks pretty energetic to me. Yes, yeah, so this door I think is still going to be locked. But I 
I wonder if we were to shoot those things on the other side of the room. Yes. They're even more oblivious than I am. I did notice those switches the first time I came in here, I just didn't say anything about them. Thought they may have come in useful, but wasn't sure how they worked. But as soon as you get this thing and realise you can shoot at long range, it's like, yep, you can use those to toggle the switches. Um, You might have hearts, so I need to murder you. Nothing over there, no. Just want to try and take out the next guy without getting hit, just to try and recover some health. And or magic. Yeah, it's such a long start up on firing this. If you miss, you're taking a hit. Uh, do I have to jump over to this? Oh, wow. You're actually slipping on that thing. Um, I'm wondering if I have to jump on top of this thing. Or maybe if I have to use a crane on the other side of the dock. Can I get up here? I can, but it might be a bit of a problem. No, there we go. Never mind. Uh, can I get up here? If I try really hard, can I get up here? Winston? No, that's not happening. I guess if I jump here, that's a death. Of course it is. Um... I don't think those barrels are any use. There's nothing on here. You are at the harbor of the Francos. Yeah, this is where I need to be. I need to get a boat or something here. Or possibly just into this thing. It's kind of hard to see, but it's on the left there. Never mind. Now that's a chonky ass zeppelin. Right, so we are on some sort of platform. Carrying petrol and cardboard boxes. Sounds safe to me. <laughs> um, can we move these things? No. Uh, you look... Firstly, you appear to have four arms and two legs. Secondly, you look ah, dangerous. Wait. Here you are. I was beginning to wonder if I would see you today. Don't judge me. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you, the listener. Please don't judge me. That creature's appendages are freaking me out. 
and they look just a little bit too penisy for my liking. It's like the top ones are fine, but then he does that. It's like, what the hell? But who are you? I, my lad, am an assassin that Dark Monks paid to eliminate you. But looking at you, it seems I must have the wrong fellow. The lad I hunt is a warrior so fierce that Dark Monk himself fears him. You're clearly out of the loop because everyone knows that I'm a bona fide murderer. I've murdered countless people. I've broken into at least one woman's bedroom late at night and checked on her, checked her deets, you know. You clearly haven't heard the word around me, buddy. How did you know I would be coming here? Laddie, you are as savvy as a monster from the gas. When you established contact with Johnny Rocket, my spies were there. We have followed you since. I knew that you wanted to go down to the undergas. Thus, I waited here to strike. But enough said. Now, lad, prepare yourself to die. Oh, wow. That's where FromSoft got the statement from. Uh, we met Johnny Rocket. What do we have to do after that? We went downstairs to the souvenir shop. Had a chat to the four people in there in that very strange room, and then we came immediately here. Honestly, your spies haven't had to do a lot of work. Alright, so are we fighting you? What are we doing? You wanna go? Dang. That actually did a fair bit of damage. Uh, okay, so can I hit these explosive barrels? They're red, so I'm assuming they're explosive. Ah, uh, no, I can't. What about this explosive barrel? Which I can't see because of the camera angle. Those crates and those barrels ahead of me look very suspicious, but maybe all I need to do is just shoot him with my laser. Yeah, that's hurting him. I think I'm using a clover here. Is this really the answer? So he's taking a fair few shots. The thing that's freaking me out most about his design is that he's wearing pants. Please don't quote that out of context. Um. Alright, I'd say I've just done something very bad. Um. There's nothing around here, correct? Yeah, I think we just need to kill this guy. But I'm not sure if um, you could glitch him through the floor, but this is more fun. Um, yeah, I think we just need to kill this guy. Please stop me or correct me if I'm wrong. We just need to shoot him until he dies. I mean, I'm hitting him once and then he's repositioning, so maybe I should reposition myself.
How could I imagine a monkey without pants? The thing is... I normally imagine most monkeys with um, four legs. Or two arms and two legs. Not this thing in front of me. It's really freaking me out if I'm being very honest with you. Yeah, I'll just ask, is this the answer what I'm doing here? Because all I'm doing is just trying to shoot him until he dies. Oh, there we go. I heard it. You probably didn't hear it because the audio on that is awful, but I heard the boing. As far as boss battles goes, that was very underwhelming. Freaky creatures.